My name is Taylor Ripley. I'm the director of the mesothelioma treatment center at Baylor Medicine. Mesothelioma, and specifically we'll talk about surgery for mesothelioma, is a complicated operation. It's one of the larger operations done in surgery. What we do is enter the chest and remove the entire lining of the chest wall and lung. This operation comes in two types. One is called an extra pleural pneumonectomy and the other is called an extended pleurectomy and decor. And with an extra pleural pneumonectomy, the lung is removed. With an extended pleurectomy and decor, the lung is spared. The obvious benefits of keeping a lung increase respiratory capacity and strength of the patients, but also sparing the lung is a longer and harder operation, but the postoperative mortality is much lower, so it's a safer operation. Our goal is to treat almost all patients with a lung sparing approach, which we do over 90% of the time, in order to retain that lung function and to make this operation safer. At Baylor Medicine, myself as well as my partners specialize in mentally evasive approaches to most thoracic conditions. For example, we perform robotic lung surgery for the resection of lung cancer. Minimally invasive surgery and robotic surgery has been shown to decrease hospital stay, decrease pain, decrease chest tube time, and allow patients to get back to normal activity. After a robotic lobectomy in which part of the lung is resected for lung cancer, patients are almost at full activity within a week or two after surgery. We have no physical limitations after this operation given that we do not split any muscles or spread any ribs, therefore the recovery is substantially easier. The most important aspect of recovery is that the patients are up and walking. I recommend that all patients get outside or go to the gym. For every patient that's a different level, but almost everyone can do some level of physical therapy to breathe strongly, strengthen the muscles in their chest, strengthen the muscles in the legs. 